Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I'm going to welcome you back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts. Welcome back, guys. Last time, Alice got kidnapped by Ding Hai. Nuts. But in any case, we got to find some way to get her back. Let's see if um, Kawashima knows anything. Whoa! Whoa, dudes! Dudes, calm down! Not your enemy here. I, I, at least I don't think I am. Stand down! As she said. No. I was trying to make a Final Fantasy X reference, but I kind of fucked it up. Oh, well. <sighs> You're awake. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm awake, all right. Care to tell me what the fuck's going on? Why the Japanese army? Mike, this is Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima. Her unit saved you from the temple ruins. Oh, so she was the one that got us out of there. Okay, well, now we know. Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima? The Japanese army is our enemy. They went to the temple ruins for the White Tiger Vaulted Pitcher. Right? Sergeant Kato and I posed as smugglers entirely to maintain contact with you. What? You're Kawashima of the Japanese army? Please, try not to be angry. We apologize for, for withholding info from you. Shut up. You think you think you could just let bygones be bygones, pal? <laughs> calm, calm yourself. At present, we're not your enemies. Okay, so take it easy, kid. Let's see what they have to say. Ah, there they are. <laughs> what are you so? What are you saying, pops? How can you be so damn calm about this? We don't know what could be happening to Alice. Alice is fine. Uh, so you're y y Yoshiko Kawashima of the Japanese Army. If only I realized sooner, I would have killed you without a thought. Damn! <laughs> now, now, don't be so hostile. The only ones who will profit from our fighting are Deng Hai and the Japanese who aim to take Shanghai. Please think about it. We truly hated you. Would we have gone through the trouble of putting our men in danger, asking them to dig you out of that monster-infested rubble? Hmm. You just said that Alice is okay, right? How do you know that? If I were Deng Hai, I'd protect her. She's a treasure to him. Her very existence gives him satisfaction. Ew. That didn't sound right. But then again, he is kind of a perv, so... Yeah. He will... He will leave her in some secure location while he hastens preparations for the valorization. Which means that Alice is safe until the Demon's Gate invocation begins. Precisely. While we while we do not have much time, we are not too late. Thing I is Meikoi Tower's fortress, but since there's no way we can break through the front, Master Zaishin, you are the most familiar with this, correct? Why don't we co collaborate? So everything's just a part of your plan, huh? I can't believe you! Whoa, 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 whoa! Yuri, calm down! We may, we may as well be your damn puppets! Mike, you shouldn't say that. The Lieutenant Cur Colonel... Lieutenant Colonel was at the Temple of Ruins the whole time, praying for your safety, waiting for the unit. With the unit. She waited and waited, believing you'd come back. Uh... Enough, Kato. The fact is, I did use you. I truly apologize for that. Well, at least she's being honest about it. If you want to... If you won't call me your friend, will you at least call me your ally? Let me put this bluntly. Mike, I want to join in arms with you. Uh, I aim to make Shanghai a staging base for the army, but it can't be done with Deng Hai at large. Deng Hai is your enemy as well. Joining forces to stop him is the most logical strategy. Why do you want us to cooperate? It should be easy for your famous army. Why not just wipe everything out with your military might? That's not it at all. Certainly there are many who like to do just that, but I'm not one of them. An invasion of Shanghai once began cannot be easily stopped. A huge number of people will be involved in the battle, and a lot of them will die. The best course of action is to fell the ringleader before the wind, winds of war kindle an inferno. That would be awfully convenient for you, wouldn't it? I'd sooner take Deng Hai's side than do anything to abet Japan, Japan's designs over Shanghai. Master Zaishin? <sighs> I'm tired of being used by people just because it's convenient for them. If the Japanese army wants to invade Shanghai, so be it. After I finish Deng Hai, I'll fight them too. Now, Kawashima, I may not be as smart as you, but I know what's important in life. 
Mm. Are you saying a joint effort is impossible? Look, I have two goals right now. I have to save Alice and stop the valorization. Don't underestimate Deng Hai. If you leave here on your own, all that awaits you are his traps. I don't give a fuck if it's a trap. I promised myself I'd protect Alice at all costs. Y you you are a fool. Huh. I may be a fool, but people like you, people who plan out every little detail of their lives, you could never understand me. Wow. I thank you for saving us, though. Goodbye. Yuri. Wow. Well, that settles that. If the Demon's Gate Invocation actually takes place, there'll be no point in debating about Japan. Because there won't be a Japan left to debate with. So, yeah. Pretty much. Hmm. Uh... Can, can you just let them go like that, Colonel? Everything will be fine. Illogical people can be... just be difficult. She has a point. Kato, is Sakitani still away? Yes, ma'am. He said he'd be... He said he'd be back right away. I'll go check on him. Oh, and Kato, give them the Yewon gate key. What? Lieutenant Colonel, are you sure? Our spies worked so hard to get such an important... Just do it. We can't let Shanghai become a pile of ashes, even if we can't cooperate with them. We can gather our troops and prepare to invade Kohai Tower. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Understood. Please wait. Please wait here. I'll take care of it. Well, there you go. Your one gate key. Wait, Sonny Boy, you can't just go by yourself. Why not? That's right. You can't very well. You can't very wait. You can't very well leave behind your guy through hell. You know. Oh yeah, I will kind of need. I, I will kind of need a guy through the inferno. <laughs> no. I know that. <laughs> but in any case, viewers, yeah, um, well, it's peaceful for now, anyway. I recommend stocking up on some supplies before you head down into the shop here, because shit's about to get real. I did make a preparation save state in advance, though. I'll go over that once this next few scenes are over, though. Alright, I've hidden it well. Oh. It's that Sakatani guy. Enter. How's it going? Whoa! Dudes! Uh, what's the meaning of this? Have you gone mad? I la I'd ask the same same question as you, Lieutenant Sakatani. But Major Katsuki? I ordered Kawashima's whereabouts reported the moment you located her. You tried to trick my spies? No, heavens no. I haven't found Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima yet. Enough lies. I'm assuming Shanghai Command. This is a direct order from the Imperial Capital. You were with Kawashima and Wuhan, weren't you? Tokyo may charge her with treason. You're a good soldier. Tell me where she is. I will not ask again. Damn. I, I know nothing of it, and the Lieutenant Colonel had no plans for uh, of any treason. She failed to report in many key details and moved ahead without approval from the Capital. That doesn't sound like treason to you? Hmm. In any case... The truth will be revealed soon enough, as my soldiers turn the city inside out. Farewell. I will see you in the afterlife. Whoa! Uh... Wow. Well, he, well, he did. Hi, Mike. Good to see you again. How's it going? How did it go? Did you retrieve the white tiger? Uh, we kind of failed. So yeah, nuts. <laughs> I see, but we but we must be thankful that everybody made it back safely. So tell us then, how are things been here in Shanghai? I sent a disturbing air about the town. Indeed, the Japanese army is preparing for something. The number of troops has increased. Wow. Hey, how do we get inside Kohar Tower? If you know, you gotta tell me. Fifteen years ago, Ding I destroyed every entrance to the tower but one Yuan Gate. The door is sturdy and locked tight. Damn. It's locked. Can't you do something about it, Zaishin? Hmm. If it was a simple unlocking spell, that's a simple enough order. Yuan Gate, eh? Thanks, Mr. Zen. Alright, cool. At least, we, at least we now know where to go. 
But in any case, viewers, I recommend take, taking this opportunity to get some Acro Puncher in with me and to boost your weapons. And of course, you can still do the Pit Fight Challenge, which I recommend that you do right now. Because once you leave Shanghai to go to Kauai, uh, Kauai Tower and you finish Kauai Tower, you cannot come back here and do, a, do this again. Or at least, not for now. For a long time, anyway. I don't, I don't remember. It's been a while. But anyway, guys, take care of it now, because you won't be able to do it a little bit later on, anyway. However, once you step out of here... Take a look what happens. Yeah, the army, the Japanese army, have invaded the town. Nuts. What the, the, the place is crawling with Japanese soldiers. Yeah, pretty much. And oh yeah, if you talk to these soldiers, um, you'll have to fight them, so. Mike. Oh, what's up, Kato? What's going on? Is this the start of a Japanese invasion? No, it's terrible, just terrible. You're a grown man. Get a hold of yourself, damn it. What is it? What happened? Yes, yes. Well. Yeah, about that. Oh, shit! Lieutenant Sakitani! Lieutenant, please, please say you're alright. <coughs> Kato, you come. Who did this to you, Lieutenant? Who was it? Kato. Katsuki, Major Katsuki, he's after the Lieutenant Colonel. Listen carefully, Sergeant. I hit it. Precious item. Hit it in the boat. Tell that to them. Tell tell Mike's party, right? Understood. Please don't say another word, Lieutenant. I'll send the medic over right away. <coughs> Forget it, Sergeant. Forget about me, Lieutenant Colonel. Protect her. There's no time C go i leave everything to you lieutenant wow wow oh god damn rest in peace sakatani i get it so these people were after kawashima too but what in the world is this precious item that lieutenant sakitani wanted us to have he says he hid it aboard his ship Hmm. Yes, please go get it right away. I must return to the Lieutenant Colonel. Got it. As soon as we find whatever whatever it is, we'll head back to the end. Until then, you stay put. Got it? Yes. All right, we got that settled. Now, the item he's talking about is, is in the smuggler's boat. I'll meet you guys there. Let's head on back to the dock. All right, viewers, I'm back. We're back on the smuggler's boat. Now, check here. Remember? This was the spot that oh, Sea Mother was hiding in during that Lily struggle. However, you check it again, you can find the Wuong Gate Key. Nice. Now we can get into the Kuhai Tower. Man, this is a Rick, Rick Key. A Rug Key or whatever. What's it for? Let me see. That's the, that's the Wuong Gate Key. Then we can get into the tower. Yep. That's right. <laughs> Back to the end. Got it. All right, viewers. Now I'm going to reload my preparation and save state that's back at the end because I made a lot of prep. And I'll meet you at the end. Be right back. All right, viewers. I'm back. We are back in the end. Now I reloaded my preparation save state with my prep already done. Now off screen, I did a little bit of grinding in town. You'll get into random encounters now inside the town now against some soldiers as well as talking to them. I got Yuri up to level 20 by doing those pit fights at the um at the um at the bar before the soldiers popped up. And I got an interesting accessory for Yuri called um Anne's Cross. This is actually a cross from Yuri's mother. Now, after you um complete the um if you win 10 fights against the the pit um you, you know the pit monsters and stuff, you have to win 10 fights. After you do that, uh, Mr. Zen will give you, or rather, Koha will give you Anne's Cross. This is a memento from Yuri's mother that um, Yuri's dad had given to his mother, but he kept it on her. And, well, now Yuri has it, so there you go. Now, after you get the cross, uh, Mr. Zen will tell you the rest of the story about after um, he met, or after him and um, Hyuga met Zaishin and they were saying goodbye t to each other or saying goodbye to Koha before they left for Kohai Tower um, in that flashback. 
So, you know, there you go. I'm not going to spoil it. You'll just have to see it for yourself. You can find it on YouTube. I wish... I, I, I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys it, but... You know, I, I, I forgot that scene was after it, so I, I wasn't quick enough. Otherwise, the that, though, viewers, here's my setup for Yori. I put them why I still have them on the Flash Badge, gave them the Coral Laureate, as well as the Jade Laureate. This will be a perfect combo for Yori with that Flash Badge, upping his indicator speed, but boosting his agility. So he'll get off more attacks. Here's my setup for um, Zaishin, um, Leonardo's Bear, Voodoo Dial, Pirate Earrings. And for Marguerite, I have the Voodoo Dial, Western Belt, and the Pedal Meter. <laughs> Otherwise, the net though, now that I think about it, I'm going to de-equip the Pedal Meter for now. And I'm going to equip Marguerite with the Leonardo's Bear. The reason for that is because uh, before we go to the Kohai Tower, there is a side quest area that we can go to. However, we have to finish a little bit of the plot first. Now, I also did some level grinding in town with the soldiers, of course. And I got my Earth level up to level 2. Unfortunately, when I tried to go to the graveyard to try and get the level 2 summon, it wasn't there. The reason why is that once, if you happen to get level 2 for your elements, um, while you're still in the Asia section of the game, you will not be able to get your level 2 summons. No, you have to wait until the, well, you have to wait until after the Asia section of the game is over, which it is almost over anyway, once we finish the Kohai Tower. So, you know, there you go. So, unfortunately, even if you do get level 2, you will not be able to um, get them until a little bit later on in the game. So, just so you know, there you go. Alright, now then. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong room. But in any case, let's go and meet up with Kawashima and um, Kato. In any case. Oh, shit! I expected to find a mannish woman indeed, but you're actually quite beautiful. Damn him! So you're the new Tokyo Dog set? I had no idea they wanted me so badly. They sent you all the way to Shanghai just for me? Don't think, don't think my father would take this lightly. Hmm, watch your mouth. You're speaking to the new ruler of Shanghai. You best forget about your father. Oh, haven't you heard the news? Well, I'll tell you. Your father adopted a new daughter, someone from the Yuang Dynasty. Wait, what? He's busy raising her. He doesn't have time for you now. What? D did his father just abandon her? Your time's up. Wow. I don't believe that shit. Who are you? <laughs> I'm your worst nightmare, buddy. Are you, the are you one of her underlings? Get him! Nobody stands in the way! Die! It's the time for a battle. Now, this is not a boss fight. This is just a simple fight against the same soldier you can fight in town. Now then. One nice reason why I put the, um, the Jade Yuriets on, um, Yuri for the extra, um, 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 width in, um, his Judgment Ring is because, as you saw in the last episode, the Flash Badge, um, increases his Indicator Speed, but it does increase the Jilly. But with the Jade and Coral Laureates equipped on Yori, um, not only will his judgment um, with be higher, but he'll have um, yeah, well, his judgment with will be bigger. But it it will also slow down the indicator speed, so that way it won't go as fast. You see what I mean? So yeah, this is the perfect three-point combo for Yori's accessories that I recommend that you equip for him for the rest of the Asia section of the game. So there you go. Yay! And oh yeah, I also got a- Oh yes! Finally! Nice! I finally got level 1 for my for my light summon. It's about time. Perfect timing too. I'll get you for this. Yeah, run away you little bitch! Oh shit, Kato! Are you alright? Hang in there. Oh, thank goodness. I, I thought he was shot. You came, but why? <laughs> Consider this our thanks. You'll have to take care of your, you'll have to take care of the soldiers by yourselves, though. Yeah. Consider this a thank you for saving us back at the ruins. You came back for us, all of you. <laughs> we just stopped by to say hello. You can thank us later. We seem fated to keep meeting. It seems we may be on opposing sides the next time we meet, but do take care. Mike, you're going to you're going right to Kai Tower. Yeah, 
You know her. She'll sob, she'll sob and cry if I don't rescue her. <laughs> Be careful, okay? And Mike, I'll pray for your success. I don't really do well with prayers, but I, I thank you nonetheless, Kawashima. You too, Kato. Let's get out of here, gang. It's Mosey, people! Hmm. No, really, I'll be praying. <laughs> they're they're not bad people, Kawashima and Kato. They're 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 good. Meanwhile though, where am I? Oh <laughs> are you awake, Alice? Oh my god, he has her strapped up like a Oh wow. Dang hi. How's it going? This is Michael Hightower Laboratory. What do you think? Impressive, isn't it? But before we begin the Demon's Gate Invocation, I must test your power. Just a little. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. What do you think you're gonna do to me? I'll never cooperate. Ever! <laughs> we'll see how long that sassy little attitude lasts. You'll soon give up and do whatever I wish. Well then, shall we begin? Now then. I hope you enjoy this. Now answer me! They'll come for me, I know it. I just have to buy some time. Now, viewers, we have some options here. Now, in, in order to unlock the side quest area, you have to say some specific things with Alice here um, with Danghai. Now, for the first option, so like, quit it, you dirty old man! <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> Stubborn girl. What's going to happen to me? Okay, here it goes! What should I do? All right, next option. Um, just get away from me! <laughs> you don't want to see my face? Oh, that's too bad. Stop, please. <laughs> okay, one more time. What should I do? All right, one more. Ignore him. There you go. Huh? Don't you dare ignore me, you little... You and... How beautiful your profile is. What a creep. How? Mike! Yuri! Such a stubborn girl. Do you really believe that Brett will come to save you? That damned, filthy harmonic, sir. Wugai is sure to have sent him to hell by now. Where is Wugai anyway? I don't think he returned to Kowloon without telling me. <coughs> oh, I wonder. Finally. Finally, I begin the Demon's Gate invocation. Bear witness, slowly, Magus. I shall, I shall soon show you the face of God! <laughs> Oh, that's bad. So, this is Kohai Tower, huh? Ooh, check this place out. So, this is Kohai Tower. Well, well, it's a whole lot bigger than it was 15 years ago. Just wait, Alice, I'm coming for you. Right, but before we go and find Alice, though, we got a new lo uh, location? Huh, that's odd. Weird. Oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, now I see, now I see. Viewers, we have to go back to, um, Shank. Okay, yeah, there's go High Tower now. But yeah, we have to go back to the, um, the town and go to the smuggler's boat. We have to sail there. Oddly enough, the soldiers are gone. So, you know, there's that. I mean, I, I guess because we defeated those two soldiers and got that Katsuki guy out, now the soldiers are like, okay, fuck this. Everyone go! Short-lived invasion! So, you know, there you go. Like, what?! You went through all that, and then you just gonna go?! Wow. Hey, hey, you guys, I repaired your ship's engine for you. It should hold up for a while, even for long trips. Cool, good to know. Minigates, let's sail the open seas, baby! Minigates, we got a new location here. If you manage to um, do the uh, answers correctly with Alice, you get Kaloon Fortress unlocked. Let's head there. I'm going to get this side quest done today, so that way, next week, um, we'll be able to start the um, Kohai Tower and wrap up the Asia section of the game. Hey, it, it, this is my first time in Hong, to Hong Kong, but I had no idea. This is Hong Kong? <laughs> this is the Kowloon Fortress, Wugai's Palace. Wow, it's incredible. Whoever did this is pretty strange, I'd say. <laughs> Who knows what might leap out at us, so watch out. It's probably a den of thugs ready to strike. Ho <laughs> ho, you better believe that shit. Alright, now then. 
could Wu Guy have could could Wu Guy be here? After all, um, Roger Bacon popped up and um yesterday at the end of the last episode, and he just took Wu Guy away. I saw it. Lord Wu Guy's back, but no one believes me. Okay, so he is here then. Okay, well, good to know. In any case, the silent peddler here also has a shop. I recommend that you do, um, shop here because we have new items to collect. More importantly, the Zodiac Bracelet. It renders paralysis and petrification ineffective. Viewers, this is a very, very amazing accessory. Get this. Do not leave here without buying this. You will need this for the Kuhai Tower. The Cosmic Bracelet renders poison, silence, and confusion ineffective. Get it. If you got the money, get it. If you can't afford it, blind. Get these. Do not fucking leave here without them. Capiche? Capiche. You got it, viewers. I love you, though. Otherwise than that, though, all right, we got those. Now let's actually get into the town now. We got shit to do. All right, luckily I have a map of the place. Let's see here on the right. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, go back. I forgot. There's one guy I need to talk to. Yeah. Okay, thanks. It wasn't you, though. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I was one like, where's the lottery guy? In the case, yeah, this guy here has a new accessory that we can get, the mind's eye. Now, I want to get this, but I only have one more lottery ticket left. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see if I can get it all screen. I may have to reload up my save state again and again and again if I fail. So I'll get it, and I'll be right back. <music> Woo! Finally! It took like four attempts, but... Yes! And we get the mind's eye. Whoo! Thank Arceus. Alright, now let's see here. Let's see, mind's eye. Check that out. Hit area is invisible, but physical attack and. It, it, wow, that is a sexy ass accessory. Your hit area on the judgment ring will be invisible, but your physical attack will double. This is very. Very stupid item in some instances because you won't be able to see your hit area. But your physical attack will increase if you manage to hit the right notes. Now, viewers, I don't recommend equipping it in some instances. But for Yori, it's probably one of his best accessories in the game. Unfortunately, you will have to fully memorize Yori's um, judgment ring. Because if you don't memorize it correctly, then that accessory will fuck you over. Before next week's episode, so I can unlock, or at least, hopefully unlock some more of my level 2s. Which, unfortunately, like I said before, we won't be able to get our level 2 summons until the, um, the next section of the game. Which we are almost to anyway. Like I said earlier, once we finish the Kohai Tower, we will be starting the, the, um, the mid to end point section of the game. Luckily, the first Shadow Hearts game is not that long. So, there you go. Alright, now, go to the alleyway, go to the mana, see this, this area, go to the stairway. See, go to the stairs, go to the east. Alright, let's head this way. Wow, look at this place. It reminds me of a street in New York, but I forget the name of it. Uh, viewers, you won't believe... Viewers, it's been like... Like, like... like I said yesterday. It's been a while since I played Shadow Hearts. So when I did get my level... My um, Earth level to level 2, I went immediately to the... um. I went immediately to the graveyard just to find out, oh shit, I can't get my level 2? Had to look up my nose like, oh, I see. But yeah, we got the hand needle, that's a new weapon for Yori. Now, it's a bit weaker for him right now because it, it hasn't been augmented by me in. So, once we're done here, I'm going to go back to, um, if I go upstairs! Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go back to Shanghai and I'm going to strengthen it. What the fuck happened here?! Yo, go back in the room, dude. There you go. Sorry about that, viewers. Wow. Fingernail scratches, huh? Why does this remind me of Final Fantasy VII? I don't know what it is. It, it reminds me of that spot um in, in the Shinra Mansion. In any case, over here we get Wu Guy's key. Huh? Good to know. All right, perfect. Take the ladder up and go to the left. Okay. There it is. Uh, can I climb it? There you go. It's hard to see it because the light is so dimmed. Alright, and over here we get the face guard. 
I think there is a new body armor. Yep, here it is. It just raises defense power. I would probably give that to Zyshin if I were you viewers. Just a thought. Okay, now we, we, have to, we have to go back two screens and go to the north up in the alley. So I'll meet you there and I'll be right back. Alright, viewers, I'm back. Now, we're back in this room again. So let's continue on where we left off. Whew. If you, um, I encountered a new enemy off screen called the Dark Judge. He looks similar to Yamaraja Earth that we fought back at the Zilong Village. So yeah, he has 500 HP. So, they, if you do happen to encounter him, and if I don't get to show him off, that is. What's in this room? Hmm. Ah, there we go. The soul of the seal. Perfect. Okay, I guess I'm going the right way. Alright, exit this room. Go to the northeast end. There we go. Northeast end. Uh, just... Uh, c come on, game. I hate that every time I get close to something, it always fucking takes me into the place. Oh, I see we have to exit the room to the northeast end. Okay, never mind. Carry on. In any case. Was that it? Northeast end. Okay. I should have downloaded a map of this place. This place is a bit annoying. So, I would want to get my light summon before we go and fight it. Just so you know. Alright, so we got the thermal root. Go up the nearby stairs. Here you go. And grab the pure root, which is in this chest. Then follow the path to find a soul benediction. Soul benediction? I don't see no soul ben- Ah, wait a minute. There you go. Thank you much. All right, we're almost out of here. Examine the urinal to the right to... What the hell? There's a lottery ticket in the urinal? Are you serious? Ew. That's kind of an odd place to put a lottery ticket. <laughs> okay, then. All right, we're finally at the fucking save point. It's about time. All right, now, before we continue on, let's head on back to the great... Okay. Wasn't I just on there? <laughs> Game is trolling me. All right, yeah, now let's go to the graveyard and finally get the light elemental summon that we did not get earlier. I think this, I think this would make the um, last level one summon. I think. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, because we got all the other level ones. Okay, perfect. So this will make the last one we have to get for level one then. Yeah, let's do it! So it's time for a boss fight. Versus... What the hell is that thing? Balloon is optional. There you go! Woohoo! And with that... Yeah! We got an infusion soul! Heaven's Fiend. Nice. And with that, we finally... Finally, whoa, compassion. Well, I, I, I am in a good mood today, so yeah, I feel happy. <laughs> but in any case, but yeah, we got a new summon, Heaven's Fiend, finally our, our light summon. All right, now, I'm going to put, hmm, this will reduce my strength, though. I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? Okay, you know what? I'm going to remove Raging Tiger, and I'm going to put Heaven's Fiend on. Now, there's a reason for this. And also, it boosts Yuri's agility even more. Now, let's take a look at this guy. Now, as you saw, all of his attacks, he used them all. Sacred um, Remedy, HP Restoration, Wall of Resistance, Boost Special Defense, Exorcist Arrow, Light Elemental Attack for a single target damage. So, you know, there you go. You're going to need this for a couple future boss fights, because some bosses will be Dark Elemental. As such, having Heaven's Fiend will be very beneficial. I'll be right back. Alrighty, viewers, I'm back. Now, I made a slight change to Yuri's setup before we go to the boss fight. Now, I gave, I equipped Yori with the Leonardo's Bear, more so because the next boss can use instant death attacks. Just so you know. See, everyone has Leonardo's Bears. Um, Yori, uh, or not Yori, Marguerite. Um, Zyshin should be good with their, um, Voodoo Dolls. Oh, no. There you go. <laughs> Alright, we're all set to go. Let's get out of here. But yeah, you need the Wugai Gate, or Wugai Room Key to open this door. Let's do it! Knock, knock! Oh! What is this room? 
This is Wu Guy's room? What is the guy doing here every day? I don't get it. Wu Guy is just a small time gangster boss. But this stuff looks like he's been working with black magic and voodoo. Exactly so, Master Zaishin. Huh? Oh, come on! Roger Bacon! So you were behind all this! <laughs> While I was here, I rented space in order to conduct experiments. But I do wonder if perhaps I overdid it a little. Are you serious? I suppose this isn't easy work, yet I still find the container to use as the vessel of life. Ugh. You, you used Wu Guy as the subject for your experiments? What the devil are you scheming? <laughs> In any case, you couldn't possibly comprehend it anyway. I'm just too smart for you. Oh yeah, since you have taken the trouble to come here, why don't I treat you to a little bit of fun? With the new life I have created, step forward, Wu Guy. Oh shit! Freezing, help me. Oh, don't worry, I'll help you all right, Wu Guy. By sending you to your grave, it's time for a boss fight! Versus Cursed Puppet! And we got a new boss theme! Yes, this boss theme is called Near, uh, near Death Experience. Look it up. So there you go. But yeah, Wu Guy, um, Cursed Puppet, 900 HP. So yeah, that's why I told you to equip those Leonardo Spears, because we have another boss fight. This will be our last one with Wu Guy. Unleash the Beast! Now, you don't have to do this side quest, by the way. But in order to get closure on what happens with Wu Guy and why Bacon took him, you probably would want to do the side quest anyway. Now, seeing as Wu Guy is Darkness Elemental, okay? Really, game? That short of a margin? Fuck you. But seeing as Wu Guy is Darkness Elemental, ah, Exodus Arrow should make quick work of the guy. Ah, uh, here it comes! It's a shame we won't be hearing this again. Whoa! Ha ha! Yeah, not this time, bitch. We had like three fights with you already. Did you uh, did you honestly think that I wasn't going to be prepared? Fuck you. <laughs> there you go. Now, holy light shines so bright. so I can transform into um, Inferno on my next turn that is unfortunately since if you transform back you end up using up the turn so yeah I know it sucks suck it there you go now then not too far to go now Za! Ha! all right now then to Inferno baby unleash the beast Nice. All right, now let's go for a fighting spirit as per usual. Right? Are you serious, dude? Whoa! That was close. Try again, bitch! Uh -huh. That is some bullshit. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Here's what I should have did. Alright, um, let's see here. Where's my silver arrows? Or silver hourglass. There you go. Yeah, give... Oh, wait, sorry. Gold hourglass, my bad. Yeah, I forgot. <sighs> silver hourglass is only for the, the character using it. Gold hourglass is for everyone. Uh-oh. Quit it. Thank you, Voodoo 
Adele! <laughs> That's why I didn't heal Marguerite, because I knew that shit was coming. Alright, now then, let's try this again with Let's Fail, please, Yuri. There you go! That's my boy! Please! Ah! Alright, now, the next couple wave attacks should finish Wugaya off. Now, Vera, is this boss theme? We're only hearing it for this side quest, by the way. But it will become a boss theme in the next section of the game, so... This is your first sample of this sexy new boss theme. I mean, I love the Asia part of the game boss theme. It's all good. But the next section of the game is going to be kick-ass. You will find out when we get to that point. Soon! Probably next week. Suck! Suck! Suck it, bitch! There you go. Ah, here we go again! Quit it. Ah, uh, Marguerite died. Nuts. Well, not that I care. Oh! Shit! Woo! Oh my god, that was close! Oh, oh, come on, dude! Come on, dude! of the game. Can we save Alice and stop the Demon's Gate invocation? Find out next time. Guys, enjoy. You know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming vids from me. Hit the bell to so notify whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. So next time, do you can do this. This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day. Smell you later.